One of God's primary laws to understand if you want to enjoy your life is the law of desire. You could call it also perhaps the law of passion and I don't use passion in the negative sense of crisis but rather passion in the sense of like having huge passionate desire. But it, this law is a major part of our soul being activated. And if we don't understand how it influences us emotionally and spiritually and influences our relationship with God, often we will flounder with many, many times of feeling quite despondent on the divine love path. You receiving God's love, in fact, is totally about this law. Let's look at how that works. Here's your soul. Here's God's soul. What causes God's love to enter your soul? Having a desire for it. The desire for divine love causes, a, causes the Holy Spirit, God's active force, if you like, that is of the highest order. It is, in fact, the way God transmits her love to her children. And so therefore, it's the highest possible, and that's why we call it in the spirit world the Holy Spirit, because it's the highest possible active force of God. And that Holy Spirit connects through this aspect of desire. That's what it means to have a longing for divine love. It means to have a desire a passionate desire to be loved by God and also, of course, to love God. Now, remember there were three things we need on the divine love path to progress. Do you remember what those three things primarily are? A longing for... Right, so a longing... Remember we've got to use it... A, long, a longing for divine love A longing for divine truth. And what's the third? Humility. What's humility? <laughs> yeah, it's actually a longing to experience your own emotions, isn't it? A passionate desire to experience your own emotions. Can you see in each case how much desire is in place? Can you see that? And can you see too, if I don't have a desire, for instance, to feel my own emotions, then straight away I'm blocking emotion. If I don't have a desire to, feel, to experience divine truth, then I'm blocking truth. If I don't have a desire to receive divine love, then I'm never going to be able to receive divine love because it's desire that activates God's soul. Your desire activates God's soul. When your desire is harmonious with love, truth and motion, your desire accesses God's soul. Now that's pretty powerful really, isn't it, to understand and think about and ponder about. Because all these people say, you know, how complicated it is, how much meditation you've got to do to get it with God and become blissful and, you know, you've got to medicate three, four hours, not medicate, meditate. <laughs> Probably, probably interchangeable words, but anyway. Uh, meditate three or four hours a day to, 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 to receive divine love and so forth. And in reality, it's not about the meditation and the blanking of yourself out or anything. It's about your passionate desire. And when you think about it, every time anyone around you has a passionate desire, don't you find it quite wonderful? Do you find that sort of resonates with you in your soul, like when somebody else has a passion? It doesn't, like someone's got a passionate desire for their motor car. You, know? you, you just sit back sometimes and just smile at yourself when you hear them have their, express their desire, don't you? Because it just amazes. It's amazing the transformation of the person that occurs when they connect with that passionate desire. Can you see that? And that happens in all sorts of aspects of their life. 
a passionate desire to have a family. Now there will be a high likelihood this family will be brought up in a manner that's harmonious with love. If you don't really care about having children and you have one, how do you feel then? Not very, very passionately desirous of having the child, so therefore there's this blockages to actually then having the child grow up with, with an environment of love. Desire enters every aspect of your being, if you think about it. You know, why do you eat something? Because there's this feeling inside that generates a feeling that I need, that I want to have something inside of me, food, to fill it. Now, sometimes that feeling will be an emotional injury, but it's still based around a desire that drives you, right? So in the end, it is a desire that is driving even desire to eat food. Because if you didn't have that desire, would you bother eating? Probably not, would you? If, if Imagine God made you that you felt full all the time. So you'd look at this great big beautiful platter of you know, fruit and vegetables and, and other dishes, right? And you look at it and you go, hmm, okay, and then walk off, right? <laughs> now, now, if your body needed food but you didn't have a desire for it at all, what's going to happen to your body eventually? You just wither away, wither away, and who knows? It, sometimes, it depends on how connected with God, it might take a few years, but, but other times, just a few months, and you're pretty much a skeleton, right? That's what anorexia is all about, the resistance of food due to emotional reasons, isn't it? So, so of course, it's desire that generates even uh, desire for food. And, of course, we can have desires that are disharmonious with love and truth. Or we can have desires that are harmonious with love and truth, can't we? We can have either. Now, the ones that are disharmonious with love and truth, when we act upon them, they have a certain flavour in terms of their result, compared with desires that are harmonious with love and truth. And we'll talk about the different flavour that results from those two desires. But you can see how if we want to connect to even to God and receive divine love, which is the transforming thing that transforms our soul, we are going to need to understand desire. Right? We're going to need to understand what affects desire, what controls desire within us, and how we can grow desire. Can you see that? We're going to need to understand those things. If we don't understand those things, how are we going to grow this connection with God if it's all based on desire? So the law of desire is a really important thing to understand. And desire... Passion is something very important to develop within yourself. 